January 5th, 2018. Today is Friday, and pretty much I have my first week of, you know, doing my own thing, being my own boss, running shit. Um, and, of course, the craziness, like, continues to happen. To happen. Um, Tuesday, I worked on my uh, psychic workbook with Jacqueline. So much fun. I made us a brew. Um, and within that brew, I had a lot of mugwort, like a lot. And mugwort is an herb that's supposed to, it's basically a dream enhancer. And I experienced that that night. Um, we smoked a little bit of weed too, so I'm sure that helped. But, um, so we're going through the workbook and lucid dreams come up and I'm just like, oh, you know, I've never done that before. Or like the times that I've had, you know, I would like see my grandmother or my god sister that passed away like several years ago. Um, and I would be with them and I'm like, wait a minute, you're dead. And then the dream would end. I would probably wake up or something else happened. And usually I wake up. Um, so anyways, that night, Tuesday night, I um, or I guess it was probably more like Wednesday morning. I was dreaming and I realized I was dreaming. So one of my best friends, she was like, you know, she lucid or she used to lucid dream all the time. And she was like, two things you can't do in a dream. You can't tell time and you can't read. So um, I realized that I was dreaming, but I was just like, you know, I thought about that instantly. So I'm like, oh, let me see um, someone give me a book or like, someone tell me what time it is. And like, I got no answer. So I was like, sweet, I'm dreaming. So and then I'm just like, okay, what do I want to do? And I was like, oh, I want to talk to some people I haven't talked to in a long time. Um, so this guy that I used to, he was basically a fuck buddy. He popped up and we were like talking and whatever. And I was just like, well, why did you leave me? Or like some question like that I asked him and I don't even remember. It was like along those lines, even though I know why he left the States, he had like to take care of some things back home in Georgia. So I'm just like, oh, like, you know, and we were like making out and stuff. And um, and then he replied something, but I, I didn't hear the reply. So anyways, and, you know, there was more to this dream. But um, so then that that was Wednesday morning, I would say. So um Thursday, yesterday was Thursday. I didn't have any crazy dreams on Wednesday. I did have some dreams, but like, well, I guess I had a dream about my ex-husband, which that was weird. I'm like, oh, why are all these people coming up? And so then last night, it was like early last night. And this was one of those dreams that just continued on like for the whole night, pretty much. Every time I went to sleep, I had like got back in the same dream. And so the guy that I, that, um, I mentioned before that I had the lucid dream with, or he was in my lucid dream, he popped up again. And I don't really remember exactly what was happening. And this is why I need to get better about writing down my dreams. Um, but he came in my dream again and we were like working at the same place or like just chatting. And I would keep waking up, like whenever I woke up and I was just like, it made me think about like all of the things that we did together and just like, fuck, I haven't talked to him in over two years and I kind of ghosted him. So then that was the thing too, where I was just like, Oh, I feel so bad about that. Cause we were so cool. And like, he hit me up that one time. I never replied because I was dating Matt and it was like pretty serious. So I'm just like, and he wanted to hang out cause he was coming into town. And I was just like, me being the person that I am, I'm just like, ah, oh, I'd rather just avoid the situation than deal with it. And so, of course, now I have to deal with it. Is This is where I'm thinking. But, yeah, so I haven't talked to him in over two years or maybe, like, two, a little less than two years. Um, and I feel that, honestly, like, so then I'm sitting there. I would wake up and I'd be like, okay, I'm sending you a message, like, call me, text me, email me, call me, text me, email me. Um, and because I don't really, I don't feel right contacting him. I don't know why it's not like I'm like, Oh, going to cheat or anything, or if that is cheating, but I just was kind of like, mm, we'll see what happens because I, I'm also testing, um, the telepathic, um, communication line, I guess, 
to see if, you know, this actually works. So, um, but it's interesting because, so now I'm, I've been doing like a little bit of research this morning and I'm like, okay, that was like a telling, like, I'm wondering like if he's thinking about me or to be honest, I think that him popping up into my dream initially, the, the, um, lucid dream that I had, that was, that could have been on me. That could have been him communicating with me, but I doubt it. So I think that I just like called him for it. I'm like, Oh, Hey, like I haven't thought about him in freaking forever. And now I think that he got that message because once you think about some, when you're thinking about someone or like experience or whatever, you're kind of, you know, um, you are strengthening that energetic cord or you're like sending a telepathic message or communi- you're communicating telepathically, even if you're aware of it or not. Like you could be thinking about an ex-lover and it's just like, oh, that's interesting. That popped up in my mind. Or sometimes, you know, like ha- like how you just popped up, you know, like maybe he was thinking about me and I'm getting that message. And usually like a lot of the times, you know, like if you're not spiritually like connected or always like dialed in, um, you might receive these messages in dreams because that's when you're in a super relaxed state or like say if you're just relaxing or you know usually it will come up in dreams so if you just dream about someone that you haven't like talked to in forever or like maybe they're thinking about you um but yes so i think that i started a um telepathic communication line with my friend And now maybe he got that, thought about me yesterday, and now that's why I'm getting the message this morning or like all last night. So I sit there, like earlier this morning, I sat there, meditated and was just like, call me, text me, email me, call me, text me, email me, whatever you want to do. Like, cause there is some, like, I feel bad, you know, that I ghosted him and I also feel that I should just meditate and communicate that just in case like he might not feel comfortable doing calling me or texting me or whatever. But um, yeah, because we were really cool. We were really good friends um, aside from the like more than friends aspect of it. Like he was cool. So um, I will be keeping my heart and mind and spirit open to um, any communications that he might come through with. So hopefully... Um, this will be an interesting uh, experiment with telepathic communications.